has finally agreed on an expansion. That's according to the South African Foreign Minister. The expansion of BRICS has been one of the biggest agendas at a 15th summit taking place in Johannesburg in South Africa. And while most BRICS members were in support of the enlargement, there have been divisions on how many countries should join as well as how soon they could. Well, this agreement paves way for dozens of interested candidate nations who as of now stand at about 40 to make their case for joining the grouping which seeks to lead the development of the global south. New realities call for a fundamental reform of the institutions of global governance so that they may be more representative and better able to respond to the challenges that confront humanity. Nigeria, which is the biggest economy in Africa, has so far expressed interest in joining BRICS, and we had to see whether or not Ghana will follow suit. But as we reported, Ghana may not be joining the group anytime soon. And this is certainly due to Ghana's strategic relations with the US and Europe, which could be affected should the country join a group that is trying to wrestle power from the US. But it is important to know that China, India, and South Africa are among Ghana's top trading partners, which means that the country already has important trade relations with members of the BRICS groups and may want to keep it as such. For now, we await to see the modalities of the expansion and what it will mean if membership grows to include Saudi Arabia and others who are important trade allies of the United States. But while we await Ghana's final verdict, some key personalities have expressed hope it will soon join. There are always national considerations, so I wouldn't be, I would, I, I would, I wouldn't be the one to say to Ghana, please apply. But I hope that at least whatever decision Ghana takes, they'll have considered the opportunity and decided in the best national interests. Judith Awuchitando, TV3 News. Johannesburg, South Africa.